Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with Success Motors. I've got another walk around video for you all today. Now, really excited about this one. It is a, uh, well, I'll get into it in a minute, but if this is your first time with us, welcome to uh, the YouTube channel. My name is Jake. I am the, I am the owner operator of Success Motors down here in College Station, Texas. And uh, we primarily sell Ford Excursions and uh, we sell a lot of really nice trucks. I would contest we sell some of the nicest Ford Excursions uh, anywhere in the country. And what enables us to do that is we specialize in them. So, uh, I mean, literally 99.9% .9 of what we sell are Ford Excursions. Uh, anyway, the purpose of this video is to give you a good idea uh, and a good representation of what this vehicle is. I'm going to try to document everything that I know about it, all of the good things and the bad, so that if you're up north and you want to purchase this thing uh, sight unseen, you know, hopefully you feel confident in doing so after watching the video. Although I will say, if you want to fly down, I can pick you up at the airport here in College Station, no problem at all, and I would recommend doing that. Uh, but anyway, if you do feel like this is sufficient and you want to make the purchase online, uh, we are, you know, I guess over, I guess I should say electronically, uh, we can absolutely do that as well. So you kind of just let me know if you like this thing, give me a holler. I do believe it's going to sell quick, so uh, you probably ought to message me pretty quick. But if it's your second or third time, welcome back to the channel. I sure appreciate your subscriptions and likes and viewership. Man, you guys are such a blessing. But all right. Anyway, this one is super special, guys. As you can tell, if you're an excursion person, you already know. Uh, but this is a 2001 Ford Excursion Limited 7.3 liter power stroke diesel four-wheel drive. Best part, it has 150,000 miles on it. Yep, 150,000. No accidents, no rust. And it has been converted to the 2011-2016 Super Duty front end. So I'm going to go ahead and start just showing you around. It, I'll just kind of, most of you will be interested in seeing this and how well it's done. It appears to have been done really well. All the body lines uh, line up. So this is going to be the front fender and the whole front end off of a 2011 to 2016 Super Duty. And then it does have the aftermarket hood, which is a really sweet hood. This thing is cool. So it's got this big functional air intake, and then it's got these heat extractors. Not sure if they're functional or not, uh, but it's just done, done really well. All the lines, you know, line up well. And then it's got, you know, these cool, so these are headlights that are they're really awesome high-end headlights and you know so that fits again a 2011 to 2016 super duty but anyway so you can see we actually had this thing wrapped so this is a matte green metallic on the sides and then a matte black metallic so you can't see it right now because it's not sunny out here but it does have a shimmer to it so it's still matte but it has a shimmer to it uh, so this thing was just rewrapped and it has a two-year warranty on the material and a one-year warranty on the craftsmanship. So if, if you're in Texas and something happens to the wrap, you could take advantage of that. <clears throat> Obviously, if you're up north, then the, you know, the craftsmanship warranty really isn't uh, too good to you. Uh, but all right, let me start kind of showing you around. This thing is effectively flawless, so this should be at least from a, you know, I'm not going to be able to show you any scratches or dents because there are no dents and there are no scratches because this thing was just wrapped uh, literally last week. Um, we are running the Toyo Open Country tires, and I'm not sure what size or what uh, brand of wheel these are, but it's a 37 by 12 and a half R20. Tires are great tread. They are starting to get a little dry. Uh, they did pass state inspection here in Texas. Again, have great tread life. They're just getting a little bit dry. So I don't think they need to be replaced, but that would be up to you. Um, you can see we are running Bilstein shocks uh, all around. Again, you can see no damage or anything right here. These are aftermarket mirrors. We just replaced them. They are new. Um, the passenger mirror wasn't working before. So these are a new set of aftermarket mirrors functioning. You can see we cut or, you know, the, the body line is right here. By the way, the company that did this here in College Station, Texas, their name is Becker Wraps, and they do some of the best wrap work anywhere that I'm aware of. In fact, we've had them wrap a show truck for us before, and when it was getting judged time after time, they said whoever wrapped this thing did a good job. Uh, you can see it's got the DZ aftermarket running board. 
Again, there's no dents or door dings or anything like that anywhere on this thing. And obviously no scratches because the wrap is, is brand new. If you're new to the video, I will drive this thing in a minute. I'll show you the inside. I'll show you under the hood. We'll start it. All those things so that you know what you are getting. No dents or dings. Again, same uh, same tires in the back. The Toyo Open Country. So I guess these are the XD Series 20-inch wheels. Looks good. Does have a MBRP aftermarket exhaust. I believe that to be a turbo back. Uh, these are aftermarket tail lights. Just kind of cool looking. I don't know what they look like at night. Does have the backup sensors that are working and does have a backup camera. Again, you can tell everything is everything has been wrapped. Even this. And you can see some of the sparkle in there because the sun's starting to shine. Looking really good. So it's got Bilstein's all around. Again, 150,000 miles. It runs great. Uh, we just had it fully serviced at College Station Ford. We did fuel filter and oil filter and oil, um, all those things. It had a coolant flush. Man, it's just a, a nice truck. Couple of, a couple of surprises on the inside. Again, tires are, you know, the rear tires are the same. They were purchased at the same time, it looks like. Tread is, is phenomenal. No dents, no dings, no scratches, nothing to report uh, on this side. All right, let me show you underneath. It looks great underneath. There's no, no rust in the rockers. Uh, it is a rust-free truck. It's not a Southern truck. It's been its life in California, and then Arizona, and then sometime, I think, in Michigan and Illinois. So it's not a Southern truck its whole life, uh, but it is a rust-free truck. I'm sorry for any wind noise. I'll get inside here in a minute. You can see it has this Go Rhino uh, front bumper with a winch. The controller for the winch is inside. It's got some hardwired, uh, rigid fog lights. We went ahead and wrapped the grill in the same black metallic, and then we did the Ford lettering in the green metallic. And then it's got these cool, you know, Raptor lights. Headlights are super epic uh, as well. And then poking up underneath here, it's got a dual steering stabilizer. It runs good, uh, guys. It drives good. Um, drives as good as it can with 37s. Man, it's just a, it's a cool truck. It's a cool truck is how I would describe this one. All right. Little surprise on the inside. Aftermarket cat skin leather. Really nice feeling. High quality leather. Somebody obviously also replaced the carpet with a black carpet. So it's just running this awesome, like, black and green tan theme i almost wrapped it with a little bit of some tan just to kind of tie it all in but i thought the buyer that might narrow down the group because that would kind of turn like armyist armyish and whoever was buying it might not appreciate that so i left it the way it is but it would look cool with some accents and tan again this is a limited so you're still getting your heated seats and your power seats the seats do work you can see it moving backwards Everything's in great shape. It does have a aftermarket uh, trailer brake controller and then brand new stereo. Actually just replaced that today. The old Pioneer unit went kaput today. So it's got a brand new JVC with Apple CarPlay head unit. Um, again, the backup camera. And then it's also running subs or uh, running amps and then a, a 10 inch sub in the back. Uh, check this out. Kind of a cool, you don't see this in a lot of them. I've only seen this a handful of times. This center console uh, overhead center console is neat. There is a little bit of damage right there. Super typical. Uh, but this whole unit here is a rare find. I don't. I haven't seen that in very many of the excursions that we've sold. WeatherTech floor mats. You can see the roof again. Roof is was wrapped. It's in great shape. Windshield. It's a brand new windshield. The last one had a crack in it, so we went ahead and replaced the windshield. Coming around back here. Again, cat skin leathers. Also, guys, check this out. It has a VHS player. I guess that's a 2001 thing, uh, but it has a VHS player. Very cool. And then you can see we're rolling two amps underneath there. Uh, floor mats everywhere. This carpet appears to be new, so it's in great shape, but we are running floor mats everywhere. Cat skin leather everywhere. Clean head unit or uh, headliner. Man, just... It's a cool rig. There aren't any like this in the country, I can tell you that. You're never going to have to worry about 
passing another one just like this one. Both barn doors open, rolling a Rockford Fusgate 10 inch sub, floor mat, carpets are clean. Look at the sides, you know, they're, they're not big scratches or anything like that. So it doesn't look like it's been used as a truck. Headliner's not torn up or anything. So it doesn't look like it's done too much work in its life. Missing the spare, because a 37 won't fit here. A 35 will, but a 37 isn't gonna fit there. Coming around, we'll go under the hood here in a minute. If you're interested, you guys definitely message us. You can call me 979-202-1948. Email me info at successmotors.net. This one is gonna sell super quick. Just clean. I haven't seen a condition item to show you yet. It is, it's a really, it appears to be in good shape. It is 24 years old, so I'm sure it's not perfect, but a lot of work has been done to this truck and a lot of attention to detail and a lot of things were just recently, recently done. So it looks like on passenger seat is not power on 01. It is heated, which is interesting, um, but not power on an 01. So that's kind of interesting. Man, the front end of this thing is just so cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about the front end. These headlights are awesome, by the way, too. When they light up at night, these are like LED bars. I mean, it's just, it's just epic. I don't know if you could see anything if I lock it. You kind of saw something. But by the way, it does have remote start. Cool, too. Right there, remote start function. It's got an aftermarket alarm and remote start. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to show you guys underneath the hood. Pop underneath the hood here. All right, the hood is kind of a challenge because, well, I'll just show you a second. Hold on one second. I had to put the phone down. All right. The hood is a challenge because it doesn't have any any hinges to hold it. So it's an aftermarket hood. Um, batteries are brand new, just replaced those this week. It's both brand new, you can see the date code 324, but literally replaced them this week. It does have a aftermarket intake. Again, batteries are new, fully serviced. Uh, fuel filter, air filter, not air filter, fuel filter, um, coolant flush, um, oil filter, and oil. Perfect, all right, let's hop inside and start this thing up. Not a cold start because I drove it over here, but nonetheless, you'll be able to hear it run. Starts right up, it hasn't given me a lick of issues. I've driven it 65 miles, so it has 150,840 miles, and I reset the odometer, the trip, trip meter doodad, uh, when I started driving it. So I've driven it 65 miles, no lights, Four-wheel drive, stereo works. I haven't even taken the protector off, which is what that little icon is. You can see this guy works. It's saying 10 miles per gallon. Got 251 miles till empty. AC is blowing hard right now, hard and cold. AC is hard and cold. Front and rear. Hopefully you heard that. I turned the AC down though, so you can hear me. Window works window works window works locks work only thing that doesn't work is that window so this switch is not working that window let's hop over there in a second and see if it will work on its own but this switch is not working that window that is the only thing on this truck guys that i'm aware of that doesn't work are there other things that don't possibly but at this moment the only thing i'm aware of that doesn't work is that window i'm gonna pop the hood again sorry i gotta put the phone down runs really smooth Let's pop back here, open this door, see if this window or this switch will work it. No, so this window's not working. That's the only thing on the whole truck that I'm aware of that doesn't work. All right, guys, I'm gonna grab my bag, make sure the hood's good and closed. I'll pick the video up here in a second for a test drive. All right, here we are, guys. I picked it back up in the vehicle. I just wanted to show you. Uh, look, it was serviced literally 
40 miles ago at College Station Ford. It does have this interesting aftermarket antenna for the stereo. It also has an independent brake uh, or um, bass controller for the sub. Kind of cool. And then you'll notice it goes in the four wheel drive. And oh, there's the box for the new stereo just to show you that that was literally put in today. All right. All right, let's take this thing for a little cruise and give you guys a driving impression of it. Pretty cool view out of it. That hood looks cool. It's got a good height to it, obviously, probably six inch lift on 37, so sitting higher than a stock unit. Uh, does have all new door speakers, all new door speakers with tweeters installed. So the stereo is nice, sounds good, and the previous owner did the speakers, but he said he had just done them. So I just did the head unit, he had just done the speakers, so the thing is ready to rock and roll. Man, this one's just cool, it's different. It's a cool vibe. Going over some railroad tracks there. All right, kind of a trafficy road, then we're gonna be on a really bumpy road for a second. And then I'll be on a then I'll be on a highway for you guys. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. Uh, man, it's just a nice truck. Perfect. No. Uh, but it is it is super nice. Definitely check out the description in the video below, like the video description area. I'll list out anything that I forgot to post or I forgot to say in this video. It is accident free, like I mentioned. It did spend the first part of its life in California and then Arizona, and then it definitely spent a few years in Michigan and Illinois. All right, about to be on a super bumpy road that makes even new vehicles bump around, so don't judge it too much. It rides good. Uh, mirrors are working. Like I said, I just replaced them. Hopefully you saw that. And then we did, I just got it state inspected today. So it passed Texas state inspection, which means you know, tires are good and the, the lights all work, the blinkers all work, the windshield wiper blades are good. So if you buy it from out of state, you're still gonna have to have it inspected. But if you buy it and you're in state, then you are uh, good to go. By the way, if you're buying a vehicle or a, uh, this Ford Excursion, most folks are kind of curious how to buy them. We don't currently work with a financing company directly, but I do recommend a company called Lightstream. So if you're not paying cash, then I recommend that you go with a company called Lightstream. Uh, we've had good success with them. Most recently we sold one and they had like an eight or 9% interest rate, which honestly for a 25 year old vehicle, that is really, uh, really stout. All you have to have is a good credit score and a good income and, and that's it. Yikes, probably should have stopped there for that ambulance, but there is a median right there, so they couldn't come over here anyhow. All right, about to get on the highway, uh, but cash is the best way to buy it if you got the cash. And then if you don't, I would say a light stream, but a traditional bank is just not going to work out. are smooth transmission shifts nice uh, no weird sounds or clunks or clanks or anything like that just ran over something if y'all heard that uh, sound like it was something metal uh, yeah steering is good it's got you know it's not it's not stock we'll say that it doesn't seem to have a lot of free play uh, it still drives straight tracks straight uh, I'm driving it with one hand right now it's not pulling hard to the right or to the left. It's not a stock one, guys. It's definitely got a lift and it's got 37, so it's not gonna ride as good as, as, a, as a bone stock non-lifted one, but that's the price to pay to look cool. 55, running about 1800 RPM. Relatively quiet, tires are good. They're not super loud. AC still blowing gold, radio still on. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. It, it's a good one. It, it's one that you won't be disappointed in. I think you could daily drive it and be happy with it. I think you could use it as a toy and be thrilled with it. This thing belongs on the beach or something somewhere. 
definitely gets a lot of uh, attention to, to it, especially because of that. Uh, well, the green wrap, I've had more compliments on the green wrap than I have on any other color. And more compliments on this excursion than any other excursion. And that front end being uh, converted to the 2011 to 2016. If you know, you know, that's a pretty cool thing and it's you know, pretty extensive and expensive, I suppose, to make it look like that. But anyway, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. God bless you.